This Peladin mini PC, as good as a browsing computer or a media computer, it's very low powered, it's three amps, so it's very quiet. This was sent to me so I could test it out and make this video. Let's go ahead and see what you get out of the box and how this performs in different situations. Pretty unique logo, that's pretty cool. So here is the mini PC. Nice metallic baby blue color. So it does come with some mounting hardware, your HDMI cable. Also here is the power cable for it and the screws for the mounting hardware. So here you can see some of the specs, Wi-Fi 4 and 5095 processor, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig hard drive. This is, this is a lightweight, low power mini PC. Got two USB 3.0 on the side, two HDMI ethernet, here's your power, two more USB 3.0 on front. You've got audio and your power button. Let's have a look inside, see if there's maybe something we could upgrade. So with this open, we can see it actually has two slots for RAM. I do like how it has the RAM easily accessible. So we could easily add another stick of RAM if we want to upgrade that. Looks like this is the only slot available for our NVMe drive. No way to add a SATA drive either. So we could replace this with something larger, but we can't add Add an additional hard drive, but upgrading the RAM, nice and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and run some virus scans. We'll do a full scan, then I'll install a bunch of software. I'll be right back when that's all done. All right, let's try out Super Tux Cart. This game seems to work just fine. This is not a resource intensive game by any means, but at least some games work on this. Let's try out a benchmark. I'm expecting this to be quite slow. This is testing more of your graphics. All right, and if you look at the top right we're looking six seven five frames per second so definitely not for gaming let's open up a bunch of browser tabs and see how well it performs with a lot of things open so this is about 32 tabs so not a whole lot <laughs> so running a speed test these speeds are probably about half of what i should be getting so you can tell it's not the fastest wi-fi but 130 is completely usable for sure all right, I got a bunch of things open. Let's start testing things out to see how well everything works. Let's go ahead. This looks like a nice video. So we're gonna try just a YouTube video. This is, you know, kind of just a normal thing that most people would do. This is true HDR. Let's see if we can go up to 4K. Oh, wow. That is a pretty place. Where is that? Well, I'm not getting any choppiness with YouTube. That is working just fine. Let's go ahead and pause that. I've got this scene open up in Blender. This is, this is pretty choppy. This is not a super resource intensive thing. So like doing 3D with this computer, probably not going to want to do that. Here's GIMP. Let's see how responsive things are. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. So raster graphics, that's, that's fairly snappy, not too slow or, or bad there. Let's try out some vector graphics looking a little bit slower here. Not too bad though. This is workable. Let's ungroup this. This is kind of slow going. So vector graphics, probably not the best. So there are no real surprises here. This isn't a super powerful mini PC it's very low power it's very quiet what this is really good for is kind of a single purpose thing so if you want something for browsing the web or for just watching movies or something like that that works really well if you're getting into graphics or gaming or video editing this is just not going to be powerful enough to do any of that but single purpose mini pc this works just great thanks for watching